and it's Hannah here and it is 2015 and that means it is time for 2014 favourites. I was going through and picking the products out for this video and I realised I have too many products so I'm going to split this up into three parts. Yes, I have a problem when it comes to makeup. But I, I did this last year as well, I split them up into three categories. But I'm not even doing hair care, skincare and nails. Like. My hair is going off. Hey, you can't tell because it's on vibrate. But, let's get started with face products, base and cheek products. This is probably going to be the longest one because I did put two categories together, but let's just get going. Let's start with primers. My first is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. I went through one sample. I have two more samples. I love this stuff. It keeps your skin so matte. It is incredible. It's mineral based. It is good for your skin. I love it. Not much more I can say about it. Speaking of matte, if you don't want to spend this much money on a tiny little baby, you can spend the same amount of money on the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, which I have been loving. You guys see um, my last like three months favourites. This has been in there. Along with this beautiful professional, which is nearly done. But I love this. It keeps my skin matte all day. It keeps my makeup on. I love it. Foundation. I have three. First, again, you guys have heard me talk about this a lot lately. CoverGirl Outfit Heart Last Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I need a lighter shade for winter because this is like, I'm wearing it now and it is like almost too dark on me and it's summer. And it's the lighter shade in Australia. You gotta love being pale. I love this. It's full coverage. It's matte. Incredible. Love it. Perfect foundation match for me is the L'Oreal True Match in N1. The lightest neutral shade. I love this. You can't get it in Australia. Miley sent this to me in our swap in about July. I love it. The colour is amazing. It sits on my skin really nice. I can't wear it in summer because it's not matte enough and my skin's an oil ball in summer, but I love this in winter. I also love my Bioterry Cover Effects Foundation. I really should because it's a very expensive foundation and I love mixing this to make my foundations lighter. It's got a matte finish so I like mixing it in with my YSL Tuesda Clark Foundation. This combination is really nice super expensive but this is super pale and this is a little bit too dark this is super dewy this is nice and matte mixed together amazing on the face so that's that love how i'm talking today right powder foundation bare minerals um n10 original foundation love this in winter for a powder foundation in summer i'm once i got like halfway through it i mixed in thanks to amber f the recommendation the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder keeps it matte, but still the amazingness of this foundation. I love it. Powder. Do I need to say anything? Rimmel Stay Matte. You guys know I love it. Simple as that. My Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I love this in winter. I can't wear it in summer. I use it to highlight in summer and bronze in summer, but I can't use it in winter. Dim Light is the perfect um, setting powder for me in winter. I love it. Incandescent Light is an amazing highlight, and Radiant Light is a nice warming up the skin in summer colour. I love this thing. Alright, speaking of highlight and bronze, my hair at Bronzer of the Year was Hula Bronzer. If you guys didn't know that, you haven't watched many of my videos. I love that bronzer. I've really been into the Chocolate Soleil, but it's a little bit dark, so I think I like Hula a little bit better. It's a little bit cooler toned. I used up my sample of it. I'm very sad. I need to go through some more bronze samples before I open my next one. Highlight. Where is my beautiful highlight? I've skipped concealers. Let's go back to concealers. I've changed my mind. Bye Bye Under Eye in, by It Cosmetics in light. Love it under the eye in winter. Boing by Benefit. Love it all over the face and under the eye in summer. Incredible. This thing is the most full coverage concealer I've tried. It is incredible. I love it. I'm in the shade 1. Can you see how much I love it? Like, it's a well-loved concealer. This, you need the tiniest bit. I wear it just under my eyes and only in winter because I must apparently get a little bit darker in summer because at the moment it is like super, super brightening and a bit too brightening. So, love those two. Okay, highlight. Back to highlight. MAC MSF in Lightscapade. This is incredible. It is beautiful and pale for my pale skin. And it's super shimmery. And I did not wipe off my hand. Let me do that first. Filmed a video. 
didn't wipe the swatches off my hand. Oh, it's coming out! Oh well, it's just the pan, so it just needs to be stuck back in there. But I freaking love this stuff. Like, it is incredible. I love it. Alright, blushes. This is where I go a bit crazy. And 95% of them are high end. Actually, no, let's be honest. Did I? No, I didn't bring it. I must have. Let's start with drugstore because I have three drugstore blushes that I love. And really, it's just the formula of the blushes that I love. Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll. This is like a $5 blush and it is freaking amazing. It is super, super pretty on the cheeks and it gives you a natural flush. I love it. I want to try more colours. Milani Baked Blushes. The matte blush in Delicioso Pink. Incredible. Hot pink. Great in winter to really brighten up the face. Set it up there. And Dolce Pink in the regular baked blush line. Because who doesn't love some shimmer in their blush? I love Milani Blushes and Essence Blushes. Alright, next. My MAC... See Me, Hear Me in Extra Dimension Blush. I need more of these blushes. I need more of the in Extra Dimension Blushes. It is so smooth, so pigmented. It's like creamy and incredible. I freaking love it. I can't wait for MAC to come out with um, more in Extra Dimension Blushes. Well, I can't because I'm broke. But when they do, I may probably buy a lot more. Clinique Blush Pop in Plum Pop. I want Peach Pop. But I freaking love this blush. It is like, again, very similar finish texture to MAC in Extra Dimension. Creamy, buttery, incredible. I love it. Um, Hourglass Ambient Liner Blush in Mood Exposure. I want another one of these. This is freaking amazing. I wore this so much in winter because it is glowy and like that perfect like plummy cheek colour. I freaking love it. Speaking of plumbing cheek colour, Tarte Exposed, oh my goodness, have you guys heard me talk about this before? Never! What? I always talk about this blush. I don't know, I'm in a really good mood today, so I'm talking super strange. I love this blush, I want more of these blushes. Sephora made them super expensive in Australia, so I'm really mad, but I love that blush. And then, my last two, Benefit Box Powders. I freaking love Benefit Box Powders. Rocketeur and Havana are the two I have in full size. Oh my goodness, I love them. I'm not going to open them. I'm not going to swatch them because my hand is swatch fooled. Love these. Alright, so those are the face products I love for 2014. This video may not be as long as I thought because I talked super quick and really strange. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what products you guys loved for 2014. Click the subscribe button. The button's right here. It'll keep you up to date on all my videos. Stay tuned for the next one, which will be 2014 favorite eye products. And I'll see you then. Bye.